Good morning, everyone. It's been an interesting morning so far. I uh, arrived at this chalk stream fishery in the south of England, and uh, the bailiff threatened to have me charged with uh, fishery offences. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I explained that I had actually paid the fee to fish here, and that I was meant to be here, and uh, <laughs> that I just wanted to catch a fish legally, so um, that all got um, sorted out, thankfully. But yeah, I'm uh, down here. I'm hoping to catch myself a salmon this morning. So um, the plan is I've um, got a bit of a walk up to where I'm actually allowed to fish. So uh, I'm going to uh, travel light. You now just take a fly roll with me and uh, try and do a bit of sight fishing on the way up to see if uh, anything's sort of lurking in the shallows. It's gin clear water here. You know, if there's a salmon to be seen, I should be able to see it. Uh, yeah, basically I've just got a fly rod with some heavy copper tube flies that will get down right in front of the salmon's faces. Better get started. It's a lovely sort of overcast morning, the perfect weather to sort of be uh, sight fishing. Just walking past this beat here, because I'm not meant to be fishing this beat, but you can see the water in this river is absolutely gin clear. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So, I am now at the beat that I am meant to be fishing, and uh, yeah, it looks uh, pretty gin clear here. So uh, I'm just going to be slowly walking up and seeing if I can see anything and sight fish in front of it. Sight fishing for salmon, guys? Doesn't get more exciting than that, does it? Hi up! Just where the uh, two things is at the beginning of the beat, right? Oh, 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 that's a big one. <laughs> that was a big guy. Uh, <laughs> I've already seen two very large trout uh, swimming around. One, well, three very large trout. One had a very uh, hard look at the fly that I uh, did not want to take. Ah. Right, so there are a load of very big brown trout swimming around here, and they're ignoring my uh, uh, willy gun copper tube fly, so I'm gonna... So I've switched over to this pink garish flashy monstrosity, see if they're interested in that. Wow, there's a big guy down there. Might be a salmon. So, we got ourselves a nice little pool here. Let's look it out. Oh, there's a big trout. So let that drift down a bit. Just a little update here. I've uh, been slowly making my way up the river with my fly rod. I haven't managed to uh, hook anything. I've got some things to have a look at my fly, but none of them have committed. I've seen some, I think, grill-sized fish swimming. Yeah, it might be grill, they might be big brown trout. You know, I'm not really, you know, enough of an expert to tell you which. But uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna keep on going up until I reach the limit. Then I'm just gonna go back and fish a few spots with uh, my uh, heavier flies, and then I think I'll get my prawns out because I've uh, got uh, I've earmarked a couple of spots where I think I'm likely to catch. Better get cracking. All right, back down at this little pool here. Seen some big sort of brown trout swimming around, so just wanna give this a go with my heavy sunk nymph. Guys, I'm hooked up to a big brownie. Whoa, this guy's big. Wow. Yeah, in the net. That's a big brownie. Oh God. That's 
Oh. <laughs> wow, that's a huge chalk stream brownie. Must be at least, must be about four pounds. Let's see if we can get the hook out. I'm not sure I want to take something that fine from the river. So this is a very, very, very lovely chalk stream brown trout. I'd reckon maybe about three pounds, but that is absolutely beautiful. So uh, saw him swimming in the water, struck into him as he bit my uh, fly, so sight fished. No, he is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can get some b-roll of him and then go, man, he is so, so chubby. You can tell they have a proper diet on these chalk streams. Let's get some b-roll and let him go. So that was a lovely chalk stream brown trout caught on a fly, well a, a salmon fly to be exact, but uh, that is pretty much every angler's dream there. Big, big three pounder, very chunky, you can tell they're really well fed on these rivers. Yeah, I might just cast my fly in there a couple more times, see if any, anything else is interested, and then uh, switch over to the prawn. Good stuff. Yeah, for everyone, so uh, I've uh, decided to uh, exchange the fly for, if I can actually get it into shot yeah for a nice tasty prawn when you go uh, prawning for salmon you traditionally have you know prawns that have shells on but uh i didn't have time to source them and uh the only ones i could get were ones at the uh service station so uh, a uh, d shell prawn is basically i've just got that with a couple of swan shots on yeah i'm basically just gonna chuck the prawn in front of where i see salmon swan shot will help it sink and hopefully i'll be able to get it deep enough let's get cracking Huh. See if we can. Yeah, this is a pristine chalk stream brown trout, guys. Big, big boy here. He's a. Uh, wow, he must be about. He must be coming up to five pounds. He's huge. Yeah, well, uh, he was on the prawn. Uh, not supposed to really be catching the uh, trout on the prawn, so uh, let him go and send him on his way. He was a little hooked, so. Ah, there's a. Uh, he'll have no problem recovering. Huge. Do you see him? He's absolutely huge. He's five pounds. Five pounds of river trout. Right. Let's get him out. There we are. That's how you do it. Oh. Yeah, one thing about using bait, which is especially true if you're targeting game fish, is you should be using circle hooks. Basically, uh, this means that you're not going to end up deep hooking the fish when you strike. But yeah, I've uh, seen a big fish swimming around this section earlier, so I'm going to drop a big old juicy prawn down, creep up along here, and uh, drop it down. Literally walking on my knees. Going to drop it down here. Right, I'm gonna flick over here, see if anything wants this. Yeah, well, better get that camera in before it gets fried. Oh. Oh, right, guys, well, uh, I had to stop filming for a second because the rain came down, but uh, look what I caught with the damn camera will focus. 
a lovely two pound perch. That is absolutely gorgeous. He's a, again, because of the circle hook, he's a not deep hooked at all. So this is our beautiful, beautiful perch, guys. Fantastic creature. All right, let's get him back. So uh, I'm now down at the, uh, the uh, second half of the same beat, so to speak. Ah, man, I'm a bit tired. I'm, I'm a bit hungry. Um, I've not eaten since breakfast and uh, I'm starting to feel it. So anyway, I better go and catch a salmon quickly before I have to starve the rest of the day. Right, well, uh, the river keeper has come round and uh, using his absolutely amazing eyesight, pointed out a couple of fishies. So uh, uh, I'm gonna try and have a go with them now. Yep, I see him. So, let's see if we can get one to buy. I see him down right there. Oh, oh. Yes! Ah, oh, no, it's a... It's a very, very large brown trout. Oh! Oh boy, well, <laughs> we caught something. Right. Oh. Let's get this guy unhooked. Get in there, yeah, there you go. Whew. Right, well, uh, brown trout. Uh, <laughs> not what we were looking for, but uh, hardly surprising that she did come up and take the uh, lovely juicy prawn in front of him. Whew. Have a quick look at him. He's a lovely big old brown trout, this, I'd say. Probably, probably about a good Oh, I don't even know. Three pounds? Yeah, well, we better get him. Better get him unhooked. There you go. Off he goes. No harm done. Another prawn? Right, so salmon's still there, thankfully. Let that sink. Oh. Yeah, those are big salmon. Right, the evening is uh, pressing on. I'm back to the fly. Basically, I'm just letting it drift down here. And my God, the weather is a bit horrible today. Yeah, I'm basically just letting it drift down here over these uh, either grills or I think they're grills. Oh, it is such a miserable evening. Okay. Well, uh, I'm afraid that I'm uh, only human and uh, the rain has turned pretty miserable and I've got to uh, be off anyway. I think that was a pretty good day. I didn't get a salmon. You know, it's funny, I'm almost doubting that my last trout I caught was a brown trout. I There was no other trout in that pool that behaved like a brown trout. So it seems very strange that I just have one brown trout and I catch it out of the whole pool. But maybe it was, I don't know. But yeah, um, you know, that's all for today, guys. Uh, if you like this content, give it a like. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time.